This whole thing, this congestion pricing, I don't understand. Okay. Because let's go at it. Let's because at America, it. because New Yorkers did not mess up the streets. We had used to have four lane mm -hmm. avenues. We had ways to get around. You could get. It might have taken a long time because we have big trucks, but you could get around. The idea of having to pay. Mm -hmm. I'm a lifelong New Yorker. The idea of having to pay to go from point A to point B without really having the conversation, only to see those things go up anyway, it made me feel like nobody was listening. Nobody said, hey, maybe we should not have put all of these bike, bike lanes, lanes yeah. everywhere. Maybe we should not have parking gotten... lanes. Yes, no. and, and you can't get around now. You can't, you can't get to Broadway in time unless you leave the day before. You only have 30, you have 30 <laughs> seconds. You know, so I, I know we don't have any more time, and I, I want to say thank you, and maybe you and I can talk about That's this, it. but Let's this is a it. huge, okay. this is a huge deal because I can afford it. Don't get me wrong, I can afford it, but a lot of my friends who drive in every day who left here because they couldn't afford to live here anymore, yeah. can't. <laughs> and it's, a, it's, I know, I, I know. I've got the answers for I you. Know. We'll have to do it another time. So, Governor, I asked you about this congestion, congestion yeah. pricing, which is, driving me berserk. Right. What is the point? Because New Yorkers didn't mess up no. the, the streets of New York. We have bike lanes in places that we're not prepared for. We have trucks that are too big for what the, for what the city says it wants. So how do we make the trucks smaller? How do we make it not another money grab? Because that's what it feels like. I understand that. Okay. But there's many reasons why we're doing this. This city is immovable. It is, we're at a crisis where people can, I can walk backwards and heels faster than most trucks can get down the streets right now. This yeah. is, so the Bike city lanes. is paralyzed. The city is paralyzed. But if you're sitting there with a heart attack and the emergency responders are taking too long to get you and there's a big, a lot of data about how the response times are mm. slower now because people can't get through, then we've got a public safety problem as well. So we want to get more people off the roads, we have the world's greatest, more, most uh, robust 600 miles of subway trains that take people around on making the subway safer. But mm -hmm. also people earning less than 60,000 don't have to pay. We've made a number of exemptions for people. People coming in from New Jersey, you know that 80% of people coming in from New Jersey to work in the central mm -hmm. business district, they take public transit. This money is going to be reinvested into making sure that our trains are better. But the MTA keeps... If I did this poor job, this is just my opinion, okay. as I feel that the MTA has sort of done over the years, because you keep saying, not you, but they keep making it more expensive to get on the, on the train. It's more expensive to get on the bus. It's more expensive to do everything. And I see people coming in and going and trying to live their lives. And, you know, not everybody wanted to leave New York. People left because they couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah. Well. So why are we in their pockets when all we could do is make maybe rearrange how the streets are, move some of those bike lanes, and make it more practical for us to be able to get up and down. Because we all want to get places. Right, right, right. And I just think that because so much was done without talking to folks, and now this thing is up, and every time I see it, I go like this uh, to it. Because uh, isn't it $15 the, to, 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 to go yeah, downtown? They, they are proposing 23 we, It was dropped. There's, uh, if you go from... Nine o'clock at night till five in the morning. Well, we're trying to push the delivery trucks to those hours. It's only three dollars now, mm -hmm. and these are for okay. people who have the ability to drive in to the city. Uh, we have public transit. I'm going to be announcing that we're doing the bus terminal, which is a hellhole. You bet yeah. over there, hellhole. Yeah. I'm going to redo that and make it beautiful because most people coming in from New Jersey on buses come through there. I'm trying to. I want to do Penn Station. Penn. Penn Station looks like the seven levels of hell when you're on it. Yeah, and I'm yeah. working hard to build it up. They hate when I say that, by the way. But it's, it's, I'm trying to focus on safety, security, making our streets flow, making our city functional, making sure people are safe. And I understand the complaints about it. But people making less than 60000 do not have to pay. We're very That's sensitive important. to low-income people. We have cheaper fares on the subways for low-income people. 